Hey guys, my name is Steve and welcome to AEAC Vlog. If you're new around here, that's cool, me too. This is actually a sister channel to my primary YouTube channel, the Airgun Exploration and Advancement channel, otherwise known as AEAC Home. Over there, you will get full in-depth product reviews as well as around the world air gun coverage. But this channel here is my time to be able to get in front of you before each one of those videos, slow down a little bit and bring you all in on the learning discovery and approach as I receive these products for review and work my way up to a full review of them over on AEAC Home. But just last night, I received this directly from Hudson USA. This is their brand new Lightning Tact Air 4500 PSI air compressor that has been designed specifically for the air gunner's needs in mind. And by that, I mean it will just as happily fill a 100 cubic foot 4500 PSI carbon fiber tank as it will an air gun directly. That all being said, it'll also probably work in other high pressure air uses such as, for example, paintball or maybe airsoft. But like I said, it's been a very busy evening learning and I want to share some of that with you before I get busy making my full review of this later on today. But uh, just to kind of give you a blanketing overview of this unit, I'm kind of excited because I feel like Hatsan's created a little bit of their own space here. And what I mean by that is this is around a $1,350 compressor. And in that $1,300 price point, I was not able to find another compressor on the market that offered both digital programmable auto shutoff and digital programmable auto moisture purging together. Yes, I was able to find that up around the $1,900 to $2,500 price point but not yet in the $1,300 price point. And if I'm wrong about that, I'd love to hear about it. So please feel free to correct me and let me know in the comments down below. So that's kind of an exciting deal for me and I'm guessing is for you air gunners as well. But let me get you through this unit. I'm gonna move kind of quick because there's a lot I wanna share before I break and uh, get busy making movies. But um, this is the... Uh, the face of the unit, if you will. It's where you're gonna be doing the majority of your interacting with the unit. Um, this over here is where you plug it into the wall. This unit is 110 volt. It comes with a power cord, of course. Comes with um, quite a few accessories, actually. And uh, some other things. This toggle here, this toggle switch here turns the cooling system on and off. This is liquid cooled. It operates much in the same way your automobile does in that it has a radiator an electric fan to pull air over the radiator and pumps fluid through the cylinder heads of the two pistons and cools them to keep everything safe, reliable, and working for a long time. This switch here turns the actual compressor or the electric motor which drives those pistons on and off. And this switch here activates or deactivates the auto purge system. As I said, I haven't found another one in this price point that takes advantage of a three-stage moisture removal system, and we'll get into more of that in a minute once I get the clothes off of this thing. Um, this here is just a circuit breaker. This temperature gauge, this digital gauge, is like um, kind of the temperature gauge in your automobile, where it monitors the temperature of the coolant in this unit, and again, we'll touch more on that in a minute. And this pressure gauge, this, um, this is a digital pressure gauge and command center for the whole unit. In other words, this is where you program the PSI in which you want it to shut off. Maybe 4,500 PSI, maybe 3,000 PSI, you know, wherever you want to set it. But it's also where you program that auto moisture purging. In other words, you can set it to purge moisture at given intervals, 10 minutes, 15 minutes, 20 minutes, that kind of thing, knowing that the more you purge, the longer it will take to fill. But, um, you know, the more moisture it will drive out of the system, but just understand there are diminishing returns there and you don't want to go too crazy. Otherwise, you're just going to be slowing yourself down for no reason. Um, this is very easy to program. It's very simply press and hold to activate um, the auto shutoff for PSI, and then you use the plus minus to move that number up and down and press and hold to activate the auto shutoff for the moisture purge. And again, use PSI or plus and minus to move 
move those numbers uh, up and down. And this pressure gauge also reads in either PSI or bar you get to pick it. So there's some fairly unique things going on here where, as I said, the other units in this price point are analog. They don't have as much controllability and they certainly don't have auto moisture purging, which is kind of a big one. Take it from a guy who spends a lot of time filling up air guns. So um, I'm going to get the clothes off of this thing in a minute and we're going to go through it. But before I do, I want to touch on something that kind of took me by surprise last night. And that's that um, when these ship from the manufacturer, they ship empty of oil. Yes, there's some residual oil in there because they run them at the factory and then they drain that and they ship it. It also ships empty of coolant. Hatsan does not provide those, so you'll need to buy it for yourself. I did call the manufacturer and they recommend um, cobalt synthetic compressor oil. Um, you can pick this up at Lowe's and um, I want to say it was around eight bucks for every 16 ounces. 16 ounces is about 474 cubic centimeters and the fill capacity on this is around 400 cc's. Like I said, there's some residual in there, but there's also a procedure for how you want to break it in and change the oil after 20 hours. So you'll probably want to buy two of them, okay? Also, there's a big cooling reservoir in here and it's on the back. It's really heavy, so I'm not going to spin it around right now, but I will show you in a minute. Um, you have to fill it up with some kind of coolant. Now, the owner's manual says that you can fill it up with... Um, with pure distilled water if you want. Just don't use tap water or any kind of water with a mineral or dissolved solid in it because that's going to be bad for the unit. If you use distilled water only, that will probably give you the best uh, heat exchange in the cooling system. But because it has no protectants and lubricants in it, you're going to need to change that more frequently. That's all in the owner's manual. And I think it's like every 20 hours compared to every 50. So I went to Walmart yesterday and I bought some Prestone. This is 50-50 mixed distilled water and antifreeze so that it's got all the proper lubricants and preservatives in it, extending the uh, coolant uh, interval changes. Now it says that, you can, that they recommend you use a minimum of 25% coolant to 75% distilled water, or you can use up to a maximum of the 50-50. The 50-50 is what... I found over at Walmart pre-mixed, so that's what I bought. These are, I think, 3.8 liters, 3.78 liters each. This takes five liters, so you're gonna need two of these. Just to be aware, guys, there's some extra stuff you gotta buy. So when you order this, you might as well run over there and get these things for you as well. But like I said, um, this is just a skin around the unit itself. It comes right off so that you can access maintain and do some of these other things. Simple screwdriver will do it. Um, just an initial kind of relaying of the quality. It seems really, really good, guys. It's a heavy steel construction. This is a nice hammered epoxy kind of looking finish. It's really attractive. My guess is it'll hold up really well and, uh, and be tough, but be aware, this probably weighs 50, 60, 70 pounds, something like that. It does have these two big grab handles up here so you can move it around but just to be aware um, you're going to need a little bit of yeah hutzpah to be able to put it where you want it all right so let's get the clothes off of this thing <laughs> and then i'll take you through the rest of it So this is the twin piston system. As you can see, it's liquid cooled. Here's the line that runs from cylinder head to cylinder head. As I mentioned, the temperature gauge up here keeps an eye on that. The owner's manual says you never want to exceed 195 degrees Fahrenheit. So something to be aware of. And by the way, the owner's manual is really, really good, guys. It's probably one of the better. I'll take it back. It's the best owner's manual I've seen for a compressor yet. And this is the fifth compressor I've been able to review in about a year and a half, okay? Now, um, 
this here, this is the crankcase for the two pistons. It's where your compressor oil will go. There's a warning on here that says you need to remove this plug. This plug is just temporary and is only um, to be used in shipping and freight because it completely seals this off so that you don't have oil, any oil leaking out. I still had oil leaking out. My owner's manual was soaked in it, truth be told, and there's oil on here. I don't know how that happened. But anyway, you replace that with this right here, which is a breather, just so that we're clear on that. And this is going to be your cap going forward once you take ownership, all right? Now, the compressor oil, as I said, pours in here. There's a window right here. Back this up, make sure you can see it. There's a window right here where you can read the level and right above the window is a decal telling you how to read the oil level. Long and short of it is there's a little red dot in the middle of this screen and you want to, in the middle of this view window and you want to bring the oil level up to the middle of that red dot and maintain it there. And that's about all there is to it over, uh, all there is to it. This little guy you see over here, this is part of the auto moisture purging system and we'll get more into that when I get the other, other side off. All right, so here's the cooling reservoir. As I said, it holds five liters. Um, so you're gonna need a couple of these jugs. You can put distilled water or coolant in there. We already over, went over the <laughs> different dilution ratios. It's got a cap on. It looks like this cap has been taped on, um, probably just for transport, but it's empty. It comes empty. So this is where you're gonna fill and maintain. There's a max line here. Don't exceed the max line. And that's probably everything you really need to know there, except for the water drain. Uh, there are, whoa, service intervals for this that are in the owner's manual. I forget what they are. It's like annual or 50 hours or something like that. Double check me. But there's a very simple pet cocktail style drain over here on this side where you can drain the, uh, the water out of the, uh, out of the coolant here. I'm going to leave this panel on because all you really see over here is the electric motor which drives those two pistons and I don't really see any reason to take it off. All right. Now this is the really interesting side because this is the side where this new lightning unit stands out from other compressors in the price point and to be very frank they don't have what this has for the money and I'm going to take you through that in just a second. Okay, as I said, this is what differentiates this unit, guys. And Hatsan markets this as a three-stage moisture removal system, okay? And the three stages are, um, one, two, this one's called their vertical water separator. <laughs> Sorry. This one here is called, um, this is their auto moisture purge. This is where it will blow moisture out at the set intervals that you set it at, if you remember, with our uh, digital command center up there. And then this little aluminum block looking thing over here, guys, this actually has a desiccant um, material in it. And what that is, is it's, it's kind of like damp red, except damp red dissolves and turns into goo. What goes in here are little granules that absorb moisture. It's kind of like when you buy a new cell phone or a new stereo and you open up that box and there's those little moisture packets in there that absorb moisture, keep it out of the unit. Well, that's what it does for the air that's either going into your tank or your gun. So those are the three stages, one, two, and three. And that's kind of a big deal and that they really got that right because the reality is when you invest the $1,300 or more in some of those other systems, 
you then have to go and spend anywhere between three and five hundred dollars to get some kind of moisture removal or desiccant um, medium cylinder if you want to really get all the moisture out of your system or this system and in, in these guys. Now that all being said I don't really know how critical that is. Uh, most of these air guns have aluminum and stainless and brass and just materials inside that aren't supposed to corrode. So a little bit of moisture is okay so I you know I wouldn't overthink that moment so to speak but just so you're aware you can very easily um, unscrew this, unscrew this big bolt here, and then you've got like a filter media down in here. Now you're probably wondering, well, how the heck does it attach to the air gun? Well, it comes with a whip. Hudson calls this the fill whip. It very simply screws on right here, then this screws to the air gun or your tank or what have you, and, uh, and, you're, and you're good to go. All right. Oops, don't want to lose that. It's called a dowdy seal. All right, now this here is the uh, air intake for the unit. Um, up in here is where the air filter lives. It comes with a nice replacement air filter and it comes with some replacement gaskets, some replacement O-rings, as well as it looks like a couple of foster fitting type adapters. It looks like there's a male to male in there. And um, it looks like there's another one here that's just it's just a male but I think that's really everything I wanted to share with you before I get busy and like I said it's just been a busy evening learning and I wanted to relay that all to you and my thoughts and kind of where I am right now with it but then you can look forward to that full review setup and maintenance guide which I'll have for you for the new lightning over on AEAC home oh one year warranty by the way which uh, you can take advantage of over at Hotson USA which is located right here in the United States. They also offer service and repair and, and all sorts of other good stuff, but that's something for you to be aware of. So with that, thanks for watching. Hoping wherever you are, whatever you're doing, you're having a great day. And I'll see you guys again, hopefully later on this week.